Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and here is the problem, the ratio of bases adenine and thymine to guanine and cytosine on one strand of the duplex DNA is 0.3, what is the ratio for the entire molecule? And this problem seems like um, the one I uploaded yesterday, but uh, yesterday we had uh, purines on one side in our ratio and pyrimidines on the other side. And today we have both purines and pyrimidines on one side and purines and pyrimidines on the other side. So our answer today also going to be different. So uh, let me rewrite this ratio as a fraction. So we have adenine plus thymine divided by uh, guanine plus cytosine and which are purines, which are pyrimidines, you would know if you uh, memorize this simple board, which is cut. And uh, here each letter stands for each base. And you know that uh, cytosine base pair with uh, guanine and thymine base pair with adenine in double-stranded DNA and in uh, messenger RNA or in RNA uh, instead of thymine, uracil whispers with adenine. So um, if you know this word cut, uh, then uh, you know that uh, this basis uh, has one ring. Because uh, this is uh, like short version of the base and other bases, which is guanine, has two rings. So this is like long version of the base. And uh, let's take a look uh, what we have here. So according to our, I would call this mnemonic technique uh, table, uh, we have on top uh, bases adenine uh, and adenine has two rings and we have thymine which has one ring and guanine has two rings here and one ring here. So now how to memorize which bases are uh, purines and which are pyrimidines. And uh, as you see, uh, this is long bases made of two rings and it would be logical if for a long molecule long word uh, would stand, but actually uh, we have a different variant here for the long uh, molecule stand short word purines. So this is purines and uh, here we have pyrimidines. Again, just memorize that for long version of the base, we have name which is short and for bases uh, which are short, we have a word that defines them uh, as permidines, uh, which is long. I think this is easy also to memorize, those probably not straightforward logic. Take a look in numerator we have uh, Purines, we have purines also in denominator, we also have uh, pyrimidines in numerator and also in denominator. So now let's use logical method in order to solve this problem. So uh, our ratio is 0 0.3, so let's say random sequence would be A, A, T, so this is what we have in numerator here. And uh, in order to get three, if we have three bases here, we should have uh, the rest bases on one strand of the DNA, which is going to be G and C. Let's use different color. So G, C, G, C, G, C, G, C, and G, C. Let's count. 
So three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have uh, three bases, which is uh, adenine or thymine, and we have uh, also ten bases, which are guanine and cytosine, and our ratio three to ten. So three uh, divided by ten is going to be zero point three. So this is ratio according to our problem. Uh, the ratio on one strand of the duplex DNA uh, of adenines and thymines to guanine and cytosine. Now let's build complementary strand of the DNA. Adenine base pairs with thymine, so we have thymine and thymine here, adenine here, and uh, as you know, guanine base pair with cytosine, so cytosine, guanine here, cytosine guanine here, cytosine, guanine here, cytosine, guanine here, cytosine, and guanine here. So again, we have the same ratio of uh, 3 to 10 on the other strand of the DNA. So for the entire molecule, and again, what is the ratio for the entire molecule? And the ratio of the bases A and T would be 3 plus 3 to uh, 10 plus 10. 10 plus 10. Or we also can say 6 to 20, which is the same as 3 to 10. So again, we came to the same ratio with which we start and 3 divided by 10 is going to be 0 0.3. So we have uh, for the entire molecule same ratio of adenine and thymine to guanine and cytosine. And why uh, it is important to know how to use these ratios? Actually, each species has the own unique uh, ratio of bases and uh, between different species there can be variation of this number but within species this number uh, doesn't vary from uh, one individual to another individual and also this is good representation of the Chargaff's rule according to which uh, number of purines equals to number of pyrimidines because uh, pyrimidines uh, base pair with purines and also number of cytosines equals to number of guanines and number of zymines equals to number of adenines. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.